this is their forever home. They're not going yeah, anywhere. No. After losing their beloved owner in the tragic fire, dogs Loki, Balder, and Roscoe are now calling College Station their new home. When we found out that uh, that Eric had passed and that the dogs had been displaced, we were like, well, I mean, we had them to start with, and we, we've got to... We got to take care of those babies. You could say adopting the three was almost like coming full circle. 12 years ago, as 12 week old puppies, Loki and Balder were found on the side of the road and brought to now owners of the dogs, Michael and April Ellis, to foster and adopt out. That's when the man who would sadly die in the fire adopted Loki and Balder. Then eventually, Roscoe joined the crew. After hearing that the three dogs needed a home, the Alices didn't give taking them in a second thought, even though they already had three dogs of their own. We love our dogs. And we, we love them all. So they're, they're, for us, our dogs are part of the family. So being able to bring them into the family here, definitely not the way I would have wanted to do it, but more than happy to do it. On the morning of the fire, neighbor Sam McCall's son was coming home when he saw the flames and alerted his dad. They both rushed over to the home and heard yelping coming from inside and kicked the door down, saving all three dogs. McCall, who had already had five dogs of his own, took the pack in. I realized just how much his dogs meant to him. Um, that was when I was determined to keep them together and do whatever it took to make sure they ended up in a good place. Roscoe suffered second degree burns while all three suffered from smoke inhalation. A GoFundMe page was immediately started to raise money for the dog's medical bills and to try to find them a permanent home. But McCall and his friend who started the GoFundMe wanted to make sure all three stayed together. On Tuesday, that finally happened. I'm honored to, to be able to take them on his behalf. And, you know, if if Eric is listening somewhere, I, I hope he knows that his fur babies are well cared for. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.